What do you get when you cross Harry Potter, a bald cat, and gluing teddy heads onto a dog? A real RI, that's what. <laughs> Or Fergie Potter, as you can see today. And I would like to just. Hello, Fergus! Oh, it's you. Mittens the cat. Yeah, it's me. Sorry, guys. This is my really annoying cat, Mittens. Mittens the cat. Hi, guys! What do you want? I noticed my food bowl isn't full. Why not? What are you doing? I heard lots of strange noises coming from in here. Why are you dressed like a circus magician? Hello. It's actually Harry Potter mittens. I was just explaining to the guys here before you interrupted me that those of you who've been following the channel for a while will remember a video I did before called I Used To Be A Dinosaur about a little boy who kept getting in trouble for being a dinosaur. Now. I was reading a Harry Potter book over the holidays and I decided to make a second video to create a series. Why? All the greats have series mittens. Your Roald Dahls, your David Walliamses, your JK Rowlings is is is. But you're not a great. You can't even keep the food bowl full. Yeah, I know mittens, but nonetheless, I decided to honour the great Harry Potter tales by turning Rira headquarters into food wards. What did you say? Fergwarts. Fergwarts. No, Fergwarts mittens. No, you definitely said Fergwarts. No, Fergwarts mittens. Fergwarts. Fergwarts. No, not Fogwarts. Fergwarts mittens. It's obvious. Listen, Hogwarts. Fergwarts. Fergwarts. Fartwarts. No, not Fartwarts. Fergwarts. Ferg what? Actually, do you know what, Mittens? I'm busy with my actual friends here, yeah? Oh. So why don't you just toddle off and go and annoy a dog or something? No, I won't just toddle off. Make me. Okay, fine, I will then. This is a Harry Potter video. I'm gonna magic you away. Oh, will you, yeah, Mr. Magical Fartwort over here? Go on then, magic me away. Okay, right, I will then. Expertiosis! Oh, yeah. Nice one, mate. Yeah, nice one. So magical you are. You really showed me. I am magic. I'll show you. ex Whiskerous! Nope. Still here, Fergus. You're about as magical as my litter tray, which needs to be changed, by the way. So you be a good boy and make yourself useful and magic some food into my bowl. Oh, I hate this cat. Guys, I need your help. On the count of three, expelli catsis. Okay? One, two, three, expelli catsis! I used to love playing Harry Potter. But I'm not allowed to anymore. Nope. Dad says he can't believe the damage I've done and that my bedroom is not Gryffindor. Entrance to Harry's common room was hidden behind a portrait picture. Hello. I could make my bedroom just like that. I realise as my heart begins to beat quicker. Oh my. In a flash, I dash down to our shed. Where in between the saw and the span, I find what it is I'm looking for. A great big heavy hammer! I drag the hammer back to my room. And it's lucky that no one's around. Cause smashing a great big hole in the wall takes ages. And it makes an awful sound. Now the secret entrance to Gryffindor lives behind the portrait of the fat lady. Hello. But the only thing I could find after looking about is a poster of a laughing baby. <laughs> Cute, a baby. My brother laughs. 
The password is me likey to crawl. <laughs> the baby says, <laughs> and he clambers on through the wall. Hello. Dear God, Dad shrieks, the state of the wall. Am I seeing things or are my eyes playing tricks? That's it. No more Harry Potter in this house. Have you any idea how much this will cost to fix? I used to play Harry Potter, but I'm not allowed to anymore. Nope. Dad says that's the last he wants to hear about anybody being a Dementor. Our Nana is always at our house. Am I over? But she always complains. Everyone is wrong. Everyone is too expensive. Everything's a disgrace. It's such a pain. She's always trying to ruin our fun. Stop that now, you naughty girl and boy! She reminds me sometimes of the Dementors from the book. It's like she's trying to suck away all our joy. <laughs> now what the Dementors do in the story is they latch themselves onto your face. And they suck the soul right out of your body. Until of your happiness, there's left no trace. And that's what we fear our Nana will do whenever she gives us a kiss. She doesn't like that I dodge away from her pets so that she will miss. Sweetie, come here. I have a present for you. Calls Nana from the living room. I speed in to see her, then scream in terror. There's a Dementor in there. I'm doomed. I screech and yelp in paralyzing terror as the Dementor approaches me out of the gloom. But then the Dementor giggles in a familiar way. Dad, arriving on the scene. Oh, Nana, not you as well. Enough, Harry Potter. I don't know who's worse, Mother. You or the kids? I really can't tell. I used to play Harry Potter, but I'm not allowed to anymore. Dad says that people have a right to drive their car down the road without being attacked by a hairy centaur. One of my favourite creatures from the story is the magical centaur, of course. I mean, how could you not be obsessed with them? They're so awesome! Half human, half horse! Me and my brothers were watching the film where Harry meets the centaur in the woods. When I spring to my feet and roar in their ears, We could play as centaurs today! We should! We fling open the cupboard and reach up on top and grab down a massive bed spread. Then my brothers bend over and I cover them up, then hop on their back with horse ears on my head. With squeals of delight, our centaur is born. Then outside to the road, we clippity-clop, where a car screeches to a halt as I powerfully proclaim, This is the realm of the centaur. You must stop. The driver leans out, Get out of my way! And his words make the centaur displeased. So I whip my bow and arrow out from behind my back and splat rubber arrows all over his windshield. Kids, what are you doing? Get out of the road! I'm so sorry, sir. Is your windshield okay? These brats of mine have an overactive imagination. That's it! No more Harry Potter play! I used to play Harry Potter, but I'm not allowed to anymore. Nope. Dad says I have to leave the poor dog alone. And that our attic is the third floor. You see, the third floor corridor in Hogwarts is forbidden. All of the pupils are told to beware. Beware. Because a three-headed dog guards the passage. So that no one enters there. I wish our house had a third floor with a starving three-headed guard dog. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that's it. I've had an idea. I realize, hopping around like a frog. I remember the charity bag near the kitchen door. Where Dad put all our old Teds. He's throwing them out because bits have come off. Like their arms and their legs and their heads. So I grab two heads from the charity bag. Then I call my dog Pinky up to our attic space. Where I flick open my glue and get to work. Sticking the heads on either side of his face. I give Pee Wee a pat and I tell him to stay. Stay. Then close the hatch and turn off the light. I call. I heard scratching up in the attic. You're not allowed up there, but he gave me your fries. Step aside, girl. There's nothing to fear. I'm sure it was just a dream. I'm only a hero. I'm only not for a hero till the morning light. Then 
he opened the hatch and Pee Wee sprang out! Him and his three heads. Why did Dad scream? My heart! Wheezed Dad. It's beating so fast! You brat! You'll be the end of me! No more Harry Potter! And no more third floor! And no more sticking heads on Pee Wee! I used to play Harry Potter! But I'm not allowed to anymore. I'm not old enough to grow a big long beard like Dumbledore. Nope. Now anyone who doesn't love Dumbledore, huh? frankly, I think is weird. He's like the coolest old wizard you could hope to meet. Wise and powerful with a grizzly grey beard. Today, I proclaim, is Dumbledore Day. It is Dumbledore Day. As an idea in my head suddenly appears. Today I shall dress as Professor Albus the Great. With his magnificent blonde hair. His robe was easy. I rubbed Dad's dressing gown. And stuck a tea cosy on my head for the hat. But Dumbledore's beard was proving to be a problem until that is, in walked the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Quick as a flash, I snatched up the puss, who protested and kicked her legs hard like a swimmer. But I held on tight as my other hand flicked on. The button on Dad's handy beard trimmer. <laughs> Soon the room was filled with the hissing of my cat as her fur began flying all over the place. Until eventually she was bald and I gathered all the fur up, then began sticking it with glue on my face. My beard is a triumph! I must show the guys! I realised as I gleefully stroked my new hairs. But the beard was so long that I tripped over it and fell, right into Dad who was coming up the stairs! Will you watch where you're going? I could have been killed! My word! What's happened to the cat? Wait, what's that on your face? Oh, tell me it's not fur! No more Dumbledore! That's the end of that! I used to love playing Harry Potter, but I'm not allowed to anymore! Nope! Says he's not having his lovely garden getting destroyed by a wizarding war. All Harry Potter fans know about the wizarding wars and that everyone must choose a side. Because when the battle breaks out and the curse starts flying, you must fight back. There's nowhere to hide. I sent an owl to the neighborhood Death Eaters. Hello. The talking is over. There won't be a bargain. Our differences will be settled by wand on my spell. At 3 p.m., we'll fight in my garden. Dumbledore's army gathered behind my shed, huddling close as the cold wind did blow. Then the chattering stopped as the clock struck three. This was it! To battle we go! We drew our wands and we crept into the garden. Our eyes peeled for enemies dressed in black. It was quiet. Too quiet, I thought to myself. Then somebody shouted, Attack! I commanded my wizards The Slytherin are over there! In the pond, under the bush, down the slide, and on the swings! The Death Eaters were everywhere! The sounds of battle enveloped my garden as wizarding wands slashed and crashed. There were fireballs and force fields and animal patrollers. Magical crackles and sparkles were flashed. The fighting was intense and frantic. There were bodies flying all over the place. I fought the Death Eater attack with all of my heart. The sweat was pouring out of my face. Here, all of you get out of my garden. My grass! This battle must cease. Don't play in your own bloody gardens. Can't a man mow his lawn in peace? I used to play Harry Potter. But I'm not allowed to anymore. Nope. Dad says we're not to play Quidditch again in the garden. And that he's not being ref and he's not keeping score. Mamma mia! Quidditch is a game played at Hogwarts. It's basically everyone's favourite sport. You need three large hoops at opposite ends of an oval for a Quidditch course. We gather hula hoops and we sprint to the shed and commandeer a stack of old poles. Then we lash our hoops to the poles with string and stick them in the ground as our goals. Next, what is needed is obvious. So we all go and raid a cleaning cupboard and find loads of brushes. Just a trick. <laughs> Dad 
Father arrives home to the garden, sees the goals, and his jaw hits the floor. For once it seems, I'm actually impressed. I'll be ref, and I'll keep score. The game begins with the blow of Dad's whistle, and goals fly through hoops left and right. The bludgers are bludging, and the beaters are beating, the players zigzagging in full flight. Then I spot it, the snitch! Ah, this is my chance! If I catch it, it's a win for my team! So I scramble up our tree and leap like a bird right down onto the trampoline! I soar through the air and strain my arm and catch it! It's right in my hand! The game is won! Unfortunately for me, to our greenhouse roof I crash land! My greenhouse! Hell's dad! My lettuce and sprouts! My tomatoes are all squashed into bits! No more quidditch or broomsticks for anyone! I can't believe I agreed to this! I used to love playing Harry Potter, but I don't think we should anymore. Because if we annoy Dad just one more time, I'm pretty sure he'll turn into Voldemort! Hogwarts, everybody. Now that Mittens is gone, we can talk uninterrupted about stuff that's important. We don't have to deal with her anymore. Now, there's something that I've been meaning to get to for a while, guys, which is to show you this picture, which has been sent in by Nelly, a former pupil of mine, who took the time to sit down and draw a picture containing many elements from different Rira Rhymes videos that she's watched. So as you can see, we've got uh, elements from uh, Jet Boots there. We've got elements from I Used To Be A Dinosaur. We've got elements from Why Can't Unicorns Be Real. There's even a picture of the trolley trial there, the very first Rira Rhymes video. There's also Panda there from um, Panda Saves Christmas. And if I'm not mistaken, she might, she seems to have drawn a tr chest of drawers from lotions and potions. So Nelly, this picture gets the Rira Rhymes stamp of approval. Now, as I mentioned before on the videos, anyone who draws these pictures for me and who gets five people to subscribe to the channel for me, if you send all that information into me, I will then put you into the pot to win your very own personalized We Raw Rise pencil case. So, Nelly, if you would like one of those pencil cases, send me an email and we'll sort that out for you. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Check out some of my other videos for more funny stories to listen to. Uh, do you guys see something back there? Sworn. Anyway, well that's it for today guys. I hope that Did you guys hear something? So it's goodbye from me, Fergie Potter, and goodbye from Fergwarts! Mitwarts!